Hey guys, Caleb's Cards here. Coming at you with a quick video. I'm going to show you uh, some of the cards that I pulled out of one of those boxes uh, that I got at the yard sale from a uh, former Navy SEAL. I know I quite a few months ago actually I uh, said I bought some cards from a yard sale that my mom came across and on my lunch break she took me over there and uh, we just got to chat with the gentleman. He uh, served slightly after World War II, was one of the first Navy SEALs, which was pretty cool. Got to talk with him uh, for a little bit there. Um, and then I bought three boxes of cards from him. I uh, offered him, uh, he didn't, I don't think he really cared how much, but I probably could have offered him for the whole table, which maybe I should have. Uh, but I just decided to get three. I uh, got it for $50 for three. And uh, at first I was feeling like, eh, you know, maybe that wasn't worth buying but actually going through this box there's actually some cool stuff um it's not i wouldn't say it's like super valuable or anything like that but there are a lot of cards of like the same player or same years and some like parallel versions that i'm almost considering maybe uh trying to list them on ebay like because there's a lot of like two three four five six of the same card i don't know i'm considering it just to maybe recoup some money um, like even if I made like 15 or 20 cents a card after all the fees and stuff are applied, whatever, you know, if you sold, you know, two or 300 cards, you know, you at least make like 10 bucks or so. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so pretty much, uh, the baseball, ignore that. That's from other stuff. <laughs> um, but uh, the football, all, all the box had only football, and there were mixed teams. So there's like Buffalo Bills, Seahawks, uh, Ravens, Jets, just a handful of Falcons, and a handful of Buccaneers. Um, so pretty much I put like the Hall of Famers over here. So there's, oh, and Colts too are in there as well. But like there's Terrell Owens, there's a whole bunch of those. Kevin Maui, John Randall, who I did not realize played for the Seahawks. There's a lot of Cortez Kennedys, which is kind of cool. I don't have a lot of his. Walter Jones. LaDainian Tomlinson. There's a lot of Curtis Martin cards. A lot of Sean Alexander. I mean, there were some cool cards. Um, primarily like early 90s. Uh, like 89 to 92. And then it kind of goes a few mid 90s. And then early to later 2000s and 2010s but there's quite a there's lots of stars players i guess at least guys that i collect who i consider stars so i'll get to go through the like there's a lot of wayne corbett Keyshawn johnson thomas jones any test i'll go through them you know see if i already have them and then got a lot of marshall lynch um all these are star players there's, you know, there's a lot of uh chromium cards too from like bowman and tops like multiples like three four or five of the same cards which i thought you know might those might sell a lot or sell a single if somebody's looking for those i don't know um a few more hall of famers down here those you know it's kind of cool going through there there's still two more boxes to go through um, there are, are a handful of 70s cards, so some 76 Seahawks in their first year. Two more of Krakows. They're not in great shape, but we'll put them in the vintage binder. And then just uh, uh, 81 Tops cards. I figured, you know, 81 Tops is fairly old. So we'll, we'll put them in that. This one looked like they taped over it. So Jim Hazlitt, Curtis Brown, Jeff Nixon. Reggie McKenzie was a pretty good guard. And this super off-cut Jim Jodat. So I thought that would be cool to um, just put in with the other cards. So, yeah, so not too bad. And then you got, of course, um, let's see if we can get all those back there. Those are the mainly the commons and other duplicates, but there's all sorts of gears in there. So pretty cool stuff. And you know why why we're here? Let's go ahead and open up another one of those packs. So this is 1988 Tops baseball. I'm not going to eat the gum. Sorry, Patrick. <laughs> I just saw him eat some gum from 1982. 
That one's actually still in good shape. <laughs> I remember when I was nine, I, I would eat it. <laughs> I didn't know any better. So we got the, of course, the little promotional. Uh, Dennis Boyd, Jim Clancy, Phil Bradley, Mickey Tittleton, Jerry Dongley. And of course, with these packs, we're just looking for TTM fuel. Uh, Mike Greenwell. There's a nice, nice uh, Mike Schmidt. Pretty good shape. Ted Simmons, two Hall of Famers in a row. Dave Rigetti. Ivan Calderon, Jerry Hairston Sr., Cardin Lansford, Felix Fermin, uh, Charlie Kerfield is stuck to somebody. Oh, Don Carmen, where the gum was. Oh, <laughs> so through the card, through the front. Wow, I've never seen that before. So that's probably just going to get trashed. <laughs> Unless somebody really wants a gum-soaked card. But uh, also... Uh, I don't know if anybody needs the wrapper. It does have a tear down there in the corner, but I don't know if anybody needs the 88 Tops wrapper. Oh, save that for a couple days just in case. So, or the gum. <laughs> People really want the gum. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, just a quick overview of what that first box had in it. Um, I thought about like trying to do a live stream or something. I've never done that before, like just going through it. But uh, I don't think that just wasn't possible with too much commotion going on in the house and um, me taking multiple days to go through the box and also I don't really know how to do a live stream or how to work this phone properly because this isn't my normal phone so yeah so that is it uh, I'll stop rambling now and let you guys get back to your day hope uh, those who went to the national are having fun there I don't know might be closing up now so you might be heading back but hope you guys had fun there and uh, Hope you guys have a great Saturday. I'll talk to you later. Bye.